Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about sinonasal osteoma imaging, which is the one of different analysis of sinonasal fibrous dysplasia. So, sinonasal Osteoma is a benign, very fine, slow growing bone formity forming tumor. Most common sign and symptom usually is symptomatic incidental finding. Found incidentally in 1% of patients on radiograph and 3% on CT perform for Sinonasal symptom, less than 5% of all osteomas are symptomatic. Other sinus symptom, sinusitis related to obstruction of the sinus osseum, headache, cause of pain, swelling, or asymmetry, proptosis, deplotin, from intraorbital extension, loss of vision, acuity, from sphenoidmoid lesion compression of thick nerve, rarely dizziness, meningitis, or seizure from pneumocephalus, intracranial mucosal cell, or abscess. Clinical profile is symptomatic down with incidental finding of osteoma on CT performed for other Sinonasal complex. Demography A. Reported to all age, more than 20 years, more than 50% between 50 to 70 years, rare under the 10. Sex. Male is more prominent than female. Epidemiology, very common reason in general population, 3% prevalent. Most common primary craniofacial bone tumor. Almost all uh, osteomas occur in craniofacial skeleton. Most common benign tumor of paranasal sinuses. Imaging, where marginated bone density lesion that arrive from wall of paranasal sinus and protrude into sinus lumen. Location frontal and edmoid, then in maxillary and sphenoid. Large osteomas may be associated with following findings, sinus opacification or mucosal formation from osteal obstruction, orbital mass effect from extra coronal extension, pneumocephalus or intraparenchymal tension pneumatosa, brain abscess plus minus subdural impairment, CT density depending on ivory versus major component. This is contrasting in CT in a seven G1 years old woman who has scanned for nasal cavity carcinoma. So an incidental pedunculated ulcer's mass in the left frontal sinus consistent with osteoma. Contrast in NCG. In the same patient, so the area of attach of the pedunculated osteoma to the base of the left frontal sinus, the peripheral portion are relatively less than. Contrast intensity in a 15 years old boy who underwent contrast CT for Desmoid tumor in left neck, so bilateral left greater than right edmoid osteoma, which are 
manifestation of Gardner's syndrome in this patient. The left side lesion is much denser than the right. T2 FSMR in the same patient correspond to the axial C2, the CT with marked hypointensity of the liposome and heterogeneous signal in the right osteoma. This is the scar radiographs. So a classic apparent of an ivory osteoma in the inferior media aspect of the right frontal sinus. The sinus is otherwise well aerated. So treatment. If a symptomatic can treat with watchful waiting, complete surgical removal for following indication, and a relenting symptom located near frontal sinus atrium, more than 50% of volume of frontal sinus field by osteoma extend intraorbitally or intracranially. CT evidence of significant enlargement. Traditional removal with open surgical procedure. Endonasal endoscopic resection possible. Small size frontal etmoid or optical etmoid is located. Thank you.